Hey guys, Wes here. Um, I was just kind of looking at this tank, and I was thinking about the new things that I had done, and I figured I would make a video about it. So as you can tell, there's some new things in this tank, uh, most notably the large driftwood, but also below that is the substrate. So, um, I made a video about the things that I had gotten in the mail, and this morning I was really bored, so I looked up online um, if I could soak the dirt for a while, because I remembered I read about that. So um, what I did is I sifted the dirt a little bit, I kind of scaped it the way I wanted it, I capped it with the Echo Complete, as you can see, <clears throat> and now it is just soaking. I made sure to cover it completely because that back corner was the, um, the highest. I kind of sloped it in that corner, but um, as you can see, there is kind of a line between the two substrates. The dirt has the the white um, specks in it. Um, Miracle Grow organic potting soil does not have those white pieces, but this um, the soil that I used, <coughs> excuse me, is organic even though it does have these. Um, it is a little bit. Um, it doesn't look as nice as the um, Miracle Grow, but. Um, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it helps grow the plants. So I did the substrate this morning and I filled it up to there. I'm going to let it sit like this for um, probably a month. Um, I'm going on spring break. That's going to be a long trip so that'll eat up most of the time so I won't have to look at this tank for too long. Um, but yes, I'm going to leave this sitting for about a month and I will order plants and I'll plant it and fill it. But um, this hardscape is what I really want to talk about. Um, so one of my friends um, asked me to go to my local pet shop with her, um, and I didn't really have anything in mind to buy. I just wanted to go look around because it's a really interesting place. And she had to get a few things, so I figured I'd go with and look around and, I don't know, just have some fun looking in the fish shop. And I saw this Malaysian driftwood, and I was like, oh, let's just, let's just look in here and see if there's a piece that catches my eye. Um, so maybe I could put it in my 29 gallon. So I looked around and I found the the left piece, I believe. And I was like, oh, this is nice. That would look cool standing up. And then I found the one on the right, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty similar, actually. Um, maybe I could get two. And then I saw that small one, and I'm like, okay, I got to get all three of these, make them um, three separate little columns, and kind of line them up. They're actually offset a little bit see if my charger will reach my phone's plugged in at the moment but they're a little bit offset you can see um, and I might switch that around a little bit but I like having them offset slightly so it adds a little bit of depth but um I really like how that looks how they stick up because it reminds me of kind of um, um, like the really fancy aquascapes by like um, I can't remember his name it's like Taka Shimano or something like that and he does it with the rocks but I don't really have access to those kinds of rocks I only have like the slate rocks for cichlids and stuff at my pet shop so I went with this wood and I think it looks really nice um the idea of moss always comes into my head but I don't know if I would put add anything to this because it looks really nice as it is and it'll get softened up a lot with the plants behind and hopefully some micro sword kind of weaving around the driftwood so that's exciting it was kind of expensive i don't know why wood is so expensive it's just logs but um i think it looks really nice so i just thought i would update you guys on that <clears throat> other than that um oh i actually did order my light this morning as well i got the finex fudre planted plus 30 inch light fixture it's the same brand as my uh my beta light over there on the beta tank which I really like as well um, so I decided to go with the Phoenix for this one um, that should be getting here in about a week week and a half um, so I'll just put that on here and wait until I'm ready to plant and then I'll be able to use it for the first time so yeah that's exciting news um, thanks for watching again um, make sure to hit that subscribe button I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 150 um, press the like button. I love seeing that as well. And if you have any comments, um, any ideas on arranging this driftwood, um, any advice on dirted tanks, I'm pretty new, but I've done some research.
but I could also use some more input. So if you have any advice, that's well appreciated. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.